How's it going everyone? Lunar here and in today's video I'm going to go over the best video settings in Fortnite. So I hope you all enjoy today's video and it helps you all out. We're going to go ahead and get right into this. The first thing when it comes to video settings I want to briefly go over is to adjust your frame rate limit to unlimited. So that way your FPS can actually fluctuate. Now if you adjust it to unlimited and your FPS you know, stutters or you start getting stuttering or it's dropping drastically and then going back up, then I highly suggest putting it in one of the fixed positions and from there it really depends on your monitor and what you would like to do. So you just really have to mess with that on your own. The next thing I want to actually go over is your main graphics settings and the first one is your view distance. For me, having view distance at Epic is absolutely necessary so that way you can see the full map when landing and where others are landing. Other than that, it's also great but not necessarily needed as much when running through fields. If you are looking for better FPS, I would suggest putting this at medium. If you have really low FPS, then really adjust it and play with it and possibly put it on low and see how it helps you. But but view distance is one of the biggest things that takes the most power from both your processor and GPU because it is rendering everything constantly around you as you are running. The second thing is going to be your shadows. Shadows can be very effective, but having them at Epic, in my opinion, in this game is not needed and just takes more power from your graphics cards. Many people also feel it can be very distracting as well. So keeping it at medium is perfectly fine. It gives you the best of both worlds, essentially, because you still get shadows from players and everything like that, but you don't have shadows just clogging up your graphics card to render. The third thing is anti-aliasing. This mainly helps with pixelation and having it on Epic is not needed in this game either. The last thing you'll be paying attention to while playing is pixelation, unless of course your whole screen is all of a sudden pixelated. Now, at that point, you probably just have a bad monitor. This is just mainly for the looks of the game and defining the edges and just making everything clearer and look better. So it's not really necessary. It also doesn't take a huge hit on anything in your computer, so I I'd just suggest keeping it at medium because of it not taking anything crazy off your processor or graphics card and keeping it at medium or turning it off if you're having FPS issues is not going to make a noticeable difference at all so keeping it at medium is perfectly fine. The fourth thing is going to be your textures. This can be the source of people's biggest problems if they're having FPS issues. So if you're one of those people having FPS issues then I'd suggest turning it to medium and seeing how it works out for you. If you're not having a single FPS issue and your computer can handle it, then keeping it at Epic is the best in my opinion because it allows your images on the screen to be clear and can really help you spot any enemies in the distance because everything is more defined. The fifth thing on our list is effects. This is going to consist of your lighting effects, small things thrown around into the game just to make the game look prettier, and this is not needed, especially if you're having FPS issues. This is definitely one of the causes for people having FPS issues, or unstable FPS for that matter. Even if you aren't receiving FPS issues, it's still not worth throwing on because it will help stabilize your FPS, and it's not much of a difference in game graphics-wise and I'm sure if you're having FPS problems at this point you probably don't care about graphics and you just want to play the game smoothly. Now the next thing on our list is post-processing. This on low helps with FPS as well because essentially it helps the effects tab above disable those lens flares, motion blur, and stuff like that. So this option is once again mainly, mainly for graphics and processing images. This is not a huge help to have anything higher than low because the difference from low to epic even is very, very minimal in general of how the game actually looks. And it doesn't completely kill the graphics on epic anyway, but once again, it just really helps you stable your frame rate. Now, hopping into V-Sync, Motion Blur, and Show Grass. First things first, turn off Motion Blur, because that is going to mess you up and helps kill FPS. As far as V-Sync goes, it once again makes very little difference to graphics on or off, and it is more graphics based as well, just to help provide better graphics. So the final thing is show grass. Now this can take up a lot of PC usage in general, because once again, you're constantly running around and it constantly has to render this grass and sprout it out in specific areas or random areas for that matter. So having it off not only helps with that 
FPS, but also helps with viewing and being able to see people across fields in the game better anyway. But overall, these are the best settings pictured now in Fortnite, in my opinion. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helped you out. If you are curious, all the gameplay that you watched in Fortnite had these specific graphics on. So if you all enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button to let me know. I'll definitely post more Fortnite, especially hitting that like button really helps me know that you all enjoy these type of videos. So I'll catch you all with another Fortnite video tomorrow.